Hi everyone. Cauti has now launched its cross-chain privacy protocol, offering privacy on demand to applications and developers across more than 70 blockchains. Let's take a look at how Cauti's cross-chain messaging works on a granular level. I will be presenting a demo on how to perform GMP, which stands for General Message Passing or Cross-Chain Messaging, using an external amplifier. We'll send a message from the Ethereum Sapolio network to the Cauti network and return a response from the Cauti network back to the Sapolio network. To do this, we deploy a gateway contract on the Cauti network. Every dApp that wants to interact with other networks will need to call the call contracts method that exists in the Cauti gateway. Our relayer contains two components. One is the network block explorer, which is responsible for tracking transactions you want to send to other networks. And the other part of the relayer is responsible for triggering messages from the Axlar network to the target network. Our main goal is to execute a method of a dApp that exists on Cauti or other networks. Our dApp is a simple Solidity contract that contains a set remote value method. We'll use Remix to create a transaction and send it over the Sapolia network. The set remote value method has three fields. The destination chain, Cauti-7, the destination address, which is our dApp on Cauti, and the message we want to send. Let's transact. You'll see that MetaMask prompts us to confirm the message on the Sapolia network. After confirming, let's check our transaction in the Sapolia Explorer. Refresh and wait for finality. In the logs, you'll see the transaction details and the emitted event called contract. Next, we'll go to the Axlar Explorer, a tool that lets you view your GMP workflow and the status of your message. If you click the transaction hash, you'll be redirected to the specific page for your message. Here, you can see its current status as sent. After confirmation, it moves to approve. Confirmation is done by Sepolia relayers, and the approval is done by Cauti relayers. Eventually, the message will be executed on the DAP contract deployed on the Cauti network. After some time, we can confirm that our message completed the entire flow, being sent from Sepolia to Cauti, executed on the Cauti DAP, and then returned to Sepolia. Since the DAP on Cauti contains a callback method, it triggers the call contract on Cauti to send the message back to Sepolia. You can check the transactions, events, and data in both the Cauti Explorer and the Sepolia Explorer to review the full flow, addresses, transaction hashes, and performance across Sepolia, Axlar, and Cauti.